How's it going everybody? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I just have to pile up a 14 inch hanging basket. So let's get to it. So we got a 14 inch wire hanging basket here. I have my Easy Swap Pot replacement liner. These are made out of our 12 ounce heavy duty uh, material. So it's pretty straightforward. You just set it in there. It does stick up a little bit, but once you put your soil in there, it will uh, it'll move down for you. So now I didn't. So now I just need to grab some potting soil in my plant. So here we got the toothache plant in one of our one gallon Easy Swap pots. We're gonna put that into this 14 inch hanging basket. So I think first I'm gonna put the plant in and then I'll backfill around it. So just unsnap all four sides. Pull it down. Gently grab it from the bottom. I use my fingers to kind of work them through on the bottom. See some pretty nice roots right there. I'll just backfill. Press it down a little bit. And a nice feature of the Easy Swap Pots, it opens up to a saucer like this, it catches all your dirt and debris, so you can just shake it onto your plant. So here it is. This is how it turned out. I think it really pops, especially with the yellow basket and our black liner. Also helps when you got yellow flowers. So this is that toothache plant that you've seen us planting up from seed earlier in the season, early spring. Now they call this toothache plant because if you had a toothache, you can eat these flowers here. If you ever remember like a warhead, turn the camera on we'll try one it'd be my first time right what's the point of growing this stuff if you're not gonna eat it so let's give it a try so they call this a toothache plant because if you were to have a toothache and you didn't have a dentist or anything nearby that you can eat these I'm told it's like uh if you guys remember like a sour warhead back in the day so let's give it a shot It's really not bad until you swallow it. But, hey, if you had a toothache and you needed something to do, that'll definitely do it for you. I'm definitely getting the sour warhead feeling now on the tongue. Brings me back to my youth, that's for sure. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Peace. Well, it's been a couple minutes. My tongue and mouth is still a little tingly. So I can definitely see how that would help in a toothache situation. You just chew it up and leave it wherever your toothache is. And it would numb it out for a little bit, relieve some of that pain for you. But I'm no doctor. Eat at your own risk. <coughs> but one cool thing I want to show you is that this plant has a flower that's got like three. I can't remember exactly what that's called. I'll probably put that in words down below here. But let me flip the camera around. And let's... Right here. It's got like three flowers in one. When a plant has that, they call that something. 